Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and Beyond. Welcome back. Um, today we're going to be talking about click tracks, um, the you know the built-in click track on GarageBand and dealing with its volume because a lot of you have troubles dealing with its low volume. And then um, if that click track isn't working for you, how to create your own click track. So before I get started with that, I did want to remind everybody, please sign my mailing list. There's a link below in the more info area of this video. I give away free stuff every month that includes guitars and pedals and microphones. So sign the mailing list. That's it. So anyway, let's talk about um, the click track. So one of the main things, you know, that I hear and I get emails about all the time is how low the volume is of our good friend, the click track. Now, an important thing to remember is that obviously there is no individual uh, volume control for the click track. So the only real thing you can do is either turning up the sound on your computer, you know, just like that, or, um, or, and also, turning up the master volume here in the bottom of the screen. Um, you know, this is the only way to do it. But when you do this, like say if I brought that all the way up, I brought that one all the way up, um, you would have to go around if, you know, if you had a bunch of tracks on the left side, you'd have to sort of bring them all down to compensate for that dramatic volume change. Now, that's how you get the volume of the original click track up. Um, that's the only way really. However, one of the things that I always recommend to people is to create your own click track. Sometimes it's not even very much, it's not very easy to play to just click, 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 clock, click, click. You know, it's like, it's just, there's not a lot of life to it. It doesn't sound like anything you play along with in your everyday life anyway. So I like to create um, drum tracks. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So um, I'm just going to go up to track. Actually, wait, no, I'm, what am I doing? I'm going down here first. I'm going <laughs> to create a software instrument track. Um, and today I don't have my keyboard hooked up, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the good old fashioned musical typing, right? So this way I can just use my keyboard and then I will select a drum kit. I'm just going to select a regular rock kit and then I have to identify the sounds. Uh, so let's see. So I'm looking for a kick and a snare. So I'm going to have to come down. It looks like a uh, pitch bend note. I want a different octave. Here we go. All right, so there it is. So it's in this middle octave down here below halfway. Um, so that's what I have. So let's just, I'll show you what I do. So here we go. I'm just gonna go kick, snare, kick, snare, and I'm just gonna do it for one bar and you'll see what happens. So let's record it. Right? So just those four, that's all I wanted. So now I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna go just to the top, right on the line here, right? And I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna do a Command T to cut it. I'm gonna do that to get rid of the top. I'm gonna scroll this all the way back and I'm gonna loop it all the way down. And now I have this click track. Right. And then the other thing, obviously, you know, that was my own, oops, sorry, that's my own performance. So you might want to quantize this, um, you know, if you can. Uh, these are our quarter notes. So I'm just going to quantize them in quarter notes. That's it. Nice and straight click track. Um, I will also recommend, you know, sometimes if like if this beat is too boring for you or just, you know, if like your part has a little bit more uh, more nuances, more life to it than just like a regular like this clack, click track would provide you with. Um, sometimes like working with the tambourine sound or one of the drum loops that's already in there, like percussion or something, something simple that is, you know, in the same groove as what you're working on. Um, but remember that you don't necessarily have to use the click track. You can use another drum track. You can create your own. You can use the percussion sounds. There's all sorts of other sounds that you can use besides a click track and then just, you know, get rid of it later. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, real simple thing to do, create, creating your own, uh, <laughs> creating your own click tracks. That's it. Um, so please sign my mailing list. I'll talk to you soon. Have a nice day.